Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is um, episode number four of unit three for the Apes review videos. Um, this video is going to be about carrying capacity. So what is carrying capacity? The idea for this is that it's um, the idea that um, it's the largest size that a population can be sustained without running into problems like no food or shelter or water or disease spreading and things like that. So um, one thing to be um, aware of is that you're going to see a lot of graphs that show carrying capacity to be a definite line, but that's not always the case. Populations don't hit carrying capacity and go, oh, guys, we hit the number we need, we're done. No, what happens is there tends to be overshoot of carrying capacity and there tends to be consequences to that. So let's show you what that looks like on the graph. So here we, ha we have our J curve and our S curve, which we mentioned in a previous video. Okay. And so as you can see, right, the population is growing really fast in these spots right there, okay? And same thing here for your S curve as well. Now what's going on here, these are two models of how a population can respond to this. So um, in the right side, the logistic growth, you have a population that was growing fast in these situations over here in the spots. And then as they got to um, carrying capacity, you know, reproduction slowed down and they eventually hit that line for carrying capacity up here, okay? Now, for this picture, the J curve, right, you're gonna see that there, this population kept on growing and kind of doubling and kept on and kept on, and then they overshot the, um, the carrying capacity line. And what happened was there was a moment where they peaked and then they eventually they began to die back, okay? So that situation right there, that's where you run into problems with your population. You may end up with lack of food. You may end up with a disease that spreads amongst a heavily dense population, or water may not be readily available, um, or habitat may run out. And so that, ends, that tends to lead to problems for a population, whether they be animal or human. Okay. And so again, that overshoot is going over that carrying capacity and then you tend to have resource depletion. That's pretty much the most general way you can say this, um, is that something runs out, right? Whether that's space, food, water, whatever the case may be. Um, and then the consequence of that is dieback, okay? The dieback can lead to famine, disease. If you're talking about a human species, uh, about a human population, then that might lead to conflict. So um, that's something that would be, you know, a very, um, good way to answer for um, a human population question, which we'll be spending in the next few videos. But um, if that were to be asked on for your response, um, that would be how humans might deal with it. But again, with most species, it'll be lack of resource, famine, disease, things like that. So um, definitely something to think about uh, and mention when you're looking at for your response questions. So here's a little bit more uh, information on that. So hopefully um, that was helpful and uh, thanks very much.